When it comes to detecting risky substance abuse lifestyles, it is hard to compete with the benefits of testing nail specimens. Toxicological analysis and pharmacokinetic studies have been using nail specimens for decades, and now nails are demonstrating their value in the commercial drug testing landscape emerging as a popular specimen type with distinct advantages over hair testing. Like hair, nail is a keratinized protein. The same drugs detected in the hair can be detected in the nail. The compounds become entrapped and bind within the nail structure. Unlike hair, nail is four times thicker, so more keratin layers protect the compounds captured in the specimen. It is easier to collect because the donor clips their nails during collection. Nail is almost always readily available where hair can be too short or absent altogether. There is no gender or pigment bias when testing nail as there is in hair testing. The collection is perceived as much less invasive because most individuals regularly clip their nails and nails are not generally associated with religious or ceremonial customs. Many of our partners find nail easier to collect the proper specimen volume, especially when in-depth testing for higher drug panels is needed. There are four anatomical features of the nail that are relevant to understand nail testing. The germinal matrix, the nail plate, the nail bed, and the free edge. The nail originates at the germinal matrix and grows outward toward the fingertip. The hardened material forming the nail plate grows across the nail bed rich in capillary blood flow, causing the pinkish color in nails. Material is added underneath the nail as it grows in length, building both length and thickness to the nail as it expands toward the fingertip. Once the nail plate erupts from the nail bed and extends past the end of the fingertip, it is called the free edge. The entire growth process can take up to six months, depending on the health of the individual. The anatomical features are essential in understanding the roots of incorporation of drug and drug metabolites in the nail. Like hair, the first root of incorporation is environmental exposure. If someone is handling drugs or around someone smoking a drug, it gets on the nail and works its way into the pores, binding to the keratinized protein. The second root in incorporation is sweat and oil from the skin surrounding the nail depositing drug and drug metabolites as they bathe the nail. The third route of incorporation is the blood flow in the germinal matrix, depositing drug and drug metabolites as the nail is forming. Lastly, drug and drug metabolites are deposited through the nail plate by the blood flow as the nail grows in length and thickness on the nail bed. These four very different incorporation routes are layered on top of each other continuously, rendering a very complex drug history. The growth cycle of nail and roots of incorporation gives nail clippings a window of detection of up to approximately three to six months. Like any specimen drug testing, a negative result is not proof of abstinence, merely a lack of evidence. USDTL pioneered forensic nail drug testing in 2005 and has been partnering with organizations using it for the past 15 years. Owned and managed by internationally renowned forensic toxicologists, we pride ourselves on being pioneers in the drug testing industry. We know that recovery needs real data. We are here to answer your questions and help you choose the right testing to reach your organization's best outcomes. To learn more, please contact us at 800-235-2367 or visit us online at usdtl.com.